Are you looking to run YouTube ads and you just don't know how? Well, on this video, I'm going to show you how. Now, we're gonna need three things before we get started. One is a Google Ads account. Remember, YouTube is a part of Google. Two, we're going to need a video on YouTube that we're going to use for our ad. And three, we're gonna need a budget inside of Google Ads. Now, you must have those three to get started. So in this case, I won't waste your time on that but we're gonna get right into creating a YouTube ad. So let's go jump over to my dashboard right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I'm in my Google Ads account and like I mentioned before, I already have an account open, I already have a budget and I have a YouTube video uploaded. So what are we gonna do to create our ad? So let's go into new campaign, okay? And we're gonna be greeted with these options. For video ads, we're gonna go into create a campaign without a goals guidance. So let's click on that and we're gonna go into video, okay? So in this case, we're gonna do a custom video campaign. So it's going to continue. And the first thing we're gonna do is name our campaign. This is um, good so you can locate it after in case you have a bunch of ads. So in this case, I'll just say test for video because I'll delete it after this. And then we're gonna select a budget for this. So how much do you want to spend on this Google ad? So YouTube ad. So in this case, I have the option for total. So that means that if I add $100, that's all it's going to spend. In this case, it's in Mexican pesos, but don't worry about it. It's gonna be in your local currency. So I can set the campaign to total. So I can say $100, that's all. Or I can say a daily spend. So for example, I can spend $5 a day. $10, $1, etc. So if I select campaign total, I'll say $100, and I can select the day it's going to end. So for example, today is June 6th, and I could say it should end June 10th, okay? There we go. So now it's telling me that the $100, in this case, it's gonna be spent in five days, so that's divided in five days, and it's going to spend $20 a day. So that's based on the total amount and the day that I've selected. I can also select two weeks from the select number here, three weeks, one month, etc. Or I can select daily, for example, $10 daily, and I can say it should end the 30th, okay? So that means it's gonna spend $10 from the 6th to the 30th, okay? So just to give you an example, in this case, I'll, I'll leave it at campaign total, and I'll leave it at 100. Okay, so let's see if like that. Next thing we have is the networks. So YouTube is a network. That's the main network that Google has, but it's also tied to third-party advertisers, okay? So you can select YouTube search results, so you want it to appear there, YouTube videos, and video partners on display network. So if you don't want to display videos outside of YouTube's platform, you should disable this one. But in case, if you want to enable it, go ahead. Now ads are a bit cheaper there, so bear that in mind, okay? Next thing we have is the locations. So I can set it to all countries and territories. That means that the ad is just gonna show up everywhere. Now, I wouldn't recommend this because Basically, it's gonna show it to countries you might not be interested in or people who are not interested in your product. So I would suggest that you select countries that are interested in your product. Now, in my case, for example, I've selected, I've selected enter another location. So in this case, since the videos I am advertising, doing advertisement for are in English, I've selected countries that speak English. So Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, and United States. If you have videos that are in, I don't know, Indonesian, well, you would select Indonesia and other countries that might speak that language, just in case. And we can reinforce this by showing the ads only to languages that people speak. So for example, your videos in English, you wanna target these countries plus only the users who speak English. So you're not showing ads to everyone. You are doing a targeted niche, all right? Next thing we have is the inventory type. Now, these are three type of categories that they have. I usually select expanded inventory because for example, it will show it to, it will show the ad on videos that have some explicit language. So if they say some bad words here and there, it'll show the ad. But if you want more like 
standard inventory where it's more less profanity on videos maybe you are advertising something for i don't know health schools um, office products and you don't want to be tied with that kind of content i would select standard or limited inventory um bear, be aware that expanded will have a broader um, appearance of ads because there's more videos out there that will advertise it so it will depend on how you want to use this okay next thing we have exclude types of labels so you do do you want to embed on youtube videos live streaming videos so if you want to ex exclude those um games was available before but now you can't exclude that but for example maybe you don't want to show your ad on live stream videos because you know what Maybe someone who goes into a live video is not likely to open up an ad or go to a link that that ad has. So you might want to disable that. And you can also select the digital content labels excluded. So by default, these are the selected ones. But if you want to remove certain type of audience like teens because your product is not based for them or content not labeled yet, that means if it's not labeled, it's not going to show those people ads. Okay. So there's all the options that are available. Next thing we have is related videos. So in this case, you can add related videos that have to do with your ad. That means I would use my own videos that I know that have to do with that. So if I'm advertising a video for automation, maybe I want to add related videos that have to do with automation. Or if it's about Google, then I'll add videos that have to do with Google because people are likely to choose that ad also because it has to do with the same topic, okay? You also have additional settings for devices in case you just want to show it to specific devices. Um, people who are likely to purchase something might not be on a TV screen. So if I'm watching an ad on TV, I might not purchase anything because it's highly unlikely that I'll go search for the company or the specific link that was on the video on the ad from TV. So maybe you want to disable that. I'm just kind of giving you use cases so you can decide how you want to enable your ads, okay? You can select everything or disable the ones that you want. For example, computers are more likely to buy something, for example, on that. But if you're advertising something like toys, then TV is a good option. You know, it's just going to depend. So I'll show on all devices. Frequency capping. So you want to cap the impression frequency. So for example, the time that the impression is going to show per day, you can enable that. Cap view frequency. So for example, a certain user not, is not going to view the ad repeatedly over and over because maybe if someone didn't click on your ad, the link or the video after three ads, maybe they're not interesting. So I don't want to show it more than three times a day or maybe two times per day or per week or per month. So it just depends if you want to enable that or not. I think it's a good idea if you highly want to target specific users and you don't want to overwhelm them with the same ad over and over. You've probably been on YouTube. You've probably seen the same ad over and over. It's like, you know what? I'm not interested, okay? So you can set that there. Ad schedule, um, depending on the time zone that you're on, if you are setting this to one country, maybe you want to set it from, I don't know, from the time that someone wakes up till night, I don't know, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., just in case if it's relevant for you. Third-party measurements, that's not enabled right now. Ad group name. So first off, we have the ad name and then we have the group name in case you create more ads inside of that group okay i'll leave it as it is the demographics do i want to show the ads to all these people for example female male the age parental, parental status house income for example gender um, maybe your product is makeup well maybe you would you want to target just females or maybe you're targeting a product that's just meant for males then you know just select or deselect depending and if it's for everyone leave it on okay and here's the age uh, maybe it's not targeted for this certain age or maybe you're targeting um, for older um, people you might want to go from 45 and over etc okay you have those options available there there's the audience segments so if I want to add a segment to this um, this would be like categories that they are interested in so for example if I know my ads are for business services for technology or enterprise software, etc. I can search for something that's that's tied to the video I am, and it's going to give me uh, suggestions, and I can enable those so it only shows the ads to people interested in that audience segment. Okay. There's also how do we want to show the ads based on keywords? Now this is a little bit harder to target the ads. 
especially if you don't have a big budget or you don't set a big budget for each click. So be aware that if you enable this, you your ad might not even show. So just consider that. Keywords, for example, if I am doing a video on Zapier, which is an automation tool, well, I would choose to appear if someone searches for Zapier, automation, web hooks, um, things that have to do with Zapier, right? Etc. You add the list there, the competitors' names, etc., and it'll show your ads based on keywords. You can also add topics to this, so it's a more broader search. So you can enable all of these at the same time, or just stick to one of these individually. Okay. So for example, if I know that this is for business, computers, and there's drop-down categories for this, you can search around, and you can go more in depth into this. Okay. Placements, if you wanna place this, for example, on a YouTube channel that you know that someone makes videos for a specific niche, then you can add that YouTube channel there and select it to appear the ads on that channel. Now be aware that if you go with the top dogs that do, ad, that do videos, there's a lot of people fighting for a placement on the ad for that video. So it gets hard, but if you know that it's important and you know that that person makes videos that are interested, in your niche, then you go for it, okay? Next thing we have is, this is where we're going to add the YouTube link. So what is the video that we're going to advertise? I'm just gonna grab one of my videos. It's a Celex video that I made. I'll add the link here. There we go. And we have two options, okay? Skippable in-stream ads. What does that mean? That before the video starts, it's going to place an ad. So remember, you're watching YouTube and when you go to a video, it starts with an ad. That's in-stream, okay? Next one is, well, let me show you this one first, okay? You can go skip away and stream ads. You can see the example here, skip ad, and we can add a URL to this. So if you're taking them to a specific uh, link, to your website, to a sales page, to et cetera, you can add it there, and that's where the people are gonna go when they click on that link. Now, be aware that you can't add redirection links. So for example, if a link that you put here redirects it's not going to work. What does that mean? If you are using a link shortener, you can't use that there. You have to put the real link, the one that goes directly to the place that you want it to go because they kind of, um, it's to avoid sending people to links that you're not supposed to, okay? And it, it'll it let you go ahead and create the ad, but it won't start the ad because you didn't add the right link, okay? So be aware of that. You can add a call to action like buy, buy now, it's gonna add a button to this, you can see that there. And the, when they click on that, it's gonna take them to this link, okay? There's also the in-feed video ad. Well, when you're watching YouTube on a desktop, you're gonna use some little thumbnails on the right. Well, that's the one that you're going to be right here. See, if I go to desktop, here's the example. If I go to mobile, this is how it's going to look. You see that? It has that little yellow button that says ad. This is the in-feed video ad. So that means that when someone's watching a YouTube video, you're gonna have a little thumbnail with the ad and people are likely to click on that. So on the in-stream ad, it's like forced. When you go to a video, it just plays the ad in the beginning and you can skip it after X amount of seconds. In this case, it'll just show the ad there. If someone clicks on it, good. Now these ones are a bit cheaper and if you have a good product, a good tagline, headline, description, etc., people are gonna go to that video. So it's a good option there, okay? So once you've selected the video that you want to use, in this case, I'll keep it like this and I'll just add the YouTube link for now, okay? I can go into the bidding. So cost per view, CPV, okay? So that's it's actually a bid. So it's gonna start off at the amount that you said. So for example, I'm in pesos. If I am likely to pay, I'll, I'll say it's dollars, okay? So I'm willing to pay 0.50 cents dollars for each click. Okay, oh, click per view, click per view, okay? Cost per view, sorry, cost per view. So if someone views that video, it's gonna cost me this, okay? So you can set the amount that you want to set for the bid. So that's the maximum amount you're willing to pay, okay? So 50 cents is a max. So it might cost me 30 cents a view, 15 cents, 45 cents, but it's not gonna go over 50 cents a view. So just to give you an example of how the cost per view works, okay? You can also top content bid adjustment in case you wanna give it a little adjustment percentage there. And once you're good to go, you got some analytics on the right that gives you what you can expect 
with the segment that you selected and the budget. So you're roughly going to get 630 as a minimum to 2,300 views with the settings that we've set, okay? The amount of days, the niche that we've selected, the amount of impressions, and the average cost, cost per view, the budget spent, and unique reach, it's not available. So if you're good to go, you like what you've done, you're ready to go, that's the video that I want to run an ad with. You'll go to create a campaign. Let's go ahead and select that there. Here we go, it's been created. Be aware that it's not going to go live as soon as you create it. This goes into a review process from Google. It's important that you go check in, add extensions. Here we go, and ads. So you're going to view right here that I'm actually, here's the video that I've created. It's a skippable ad type of ad. And you can see right here, pending under review. So like I mentioned before, as soon as you create the ad, it doesn't mean it's going to go live. You have to wait until they review it and they approve it. Once it's approved, it's going to start showing the ads on the YouTube platform. So it's important that you wait for that. So don't get discouraged, don't get like, Overwhelmed, you just have to wait a bit. In case it says that something is wrong, then you'll have to edit the ad and correct it. What are the things that could happen most commonly? Like I mentioned before, maybe you're putting a link that is a redirection link, or if there's a phone number in the link, I've, I've gotten that kind of error before, and you just have to tell them to go review it, it's not a phone number, or go fix the link, etc. Once it's approved, you're good to go and you're gonna be able to view the analytics here. You can go ahead and edit this again with all the settings they have here. You have the overview, recommendations, insights, the ad groups. You go into the settings, here we go. So if you wanna change the budget, if you wanna change the end date, if you wanna change the languages, etc., something that you might missed or made a mistake when creating the ad, you can go ahead and edit this again and tweak it to your liking, okay? And if you want to change the ad spent, the cost per view, you can edit by clicking on this little pencil. So if after two days, I don't know, ads are not showing, you're not getting impressions, you might want to raise the budget so it actually shows the ad. So it's something that you have to consider there in case you want to show ads. So in this case, I've paused it because I, I'm not actually going to advertise that video. This was just for demo purposes. But there you go, that is how you create an ad on YouTube. If you like this video, do consider liking the video, subscribing, and commenting what you think about this video and the process of creating an ad. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.